Ah, the beach. A place for vacation, relaxation, and an all-round good time. But how about this creepy scenario? You go to the beach expecting to have a great time with plenty of other sun worshippers, but when you get there, there's no one to be seen. Where did everyone go? Well, the answer is they were probably eaten by some terrifying sea monster. Of course, from the ultimate predator. Well, the answer is they were probably eaten by some terrifying sea monster. Of course, from the ultimate predator to the alien-like nightmare of the sea, here's the 20 most dangerous animals on the beaches. <sighs> Number 20. Orcas the killer whale is a toothed whale. That is the largest member of the marine dolphin family. It may be identified by its black and white patterned body. Killer whales eat a broad variety of food, with certain populations focusing on specific species. Some only consume fish, while others hunt marine mammals, such as seals and dolphins. They have been known to attack baleen whale calves and even adult whales. Killer Whales are apex predators because they have no natural predators. Wild killer whales do not perceive people to be a threat, and no fatal attacks on humans have ever been documented. But hey, there's always a first time, right? This is why you should never be alone on a beach. Captive orcas have been known to kill or injure their keepers at marine theme parks. Killer whales also feature prominently in indigenous cultures' mythologies, and and their representation in various civilizations ranges from post-mortal human souls to deadly killers. In Western civilizations, killer whales have traditionally been seen as dangerous, savage predators. Due to rivalry with fishermen, killer whales were also considered pests. Governments in the Pacific Northwest and Iceland condoned and even encouraged the slaughter of killer whales. In 1956, the U.S. Navy claimed to have killed hundreds of killer whales in the Icelandic waters using machine guns, rockets, and depth charges. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Portuguese Man o' War the Portuguese Man o' War is a marine hydrozone that can be found in the Atlantic and Indian Oceans. It contains a swarm of poisonous tiny nematocysts that sting with a painful sting, capable of killing fish, and it has been known to kill people on occasion. The Portuguese Man of War is actually a siphonophore, despite its jellyfish-like appearance. It's a colony species like other siphonophores, made up of numerous, smaller units called zooids. A colony of zooids are genetically similar, yet they perform distinct activities, like as eating and reproduction, allowing the colony to function as a single organism. Each summer in Australia, this species is responsible for up to 10,000 human stings, predominantly on the East Coast, but also off the beaches of South Australia and Western Australia. Humans are typically an excruciating agony from stings, which leave whip-like red welts on the skin that persist two to three days after the original sting. Although the discomfort should lessen within one to three hours, the stings of a Portuguese man-o-war are pretty severe. The name Man of War derives from the sailing ship Man of War from the 18th century. Number 18. Blue Ringed Octopus when you think about it, octopuses are unusual animals. Is there any other animal on our planet that, although being easily recognized by humans, looks like more of a space invader than the octopus? Most octopuses, unlike the facehuggers from the alien movies, are completely safe. Even the giant ones, with the exception of the blue-ringed octopus, which is a one-of-a-kind octopus, this 
this isn't some huge ship-eating kraken keeping elderly seafarers up at night. It's a little blue octopus, but it's also the only octopus toxic to humans. It's a threat, to say the least, to everything and everyone. Although this neurotoxic swimming Pokemon is only the size of a golf ball, it has enough venom to kill 25 people in one dose. You're also given a painkiller by the octopus, so you don't even realize you've been stung. These gorgeously colored sons of Satan are aggressive and like attacking. Even if you do realize you've been bitten, there is no anti-venom available. So, maybe stay away. Number 17. Cone Snail it's unmistakably a snail. On this channel, we're digging out the true evil, snails. I'm sure you didn't think a snail could kill ya. This one, on the other hand, can. Easily, in fact. They might remind us of the slimy critters we see in the yard on rainy days. There are, however, a few tiny differences. For starters, cone snails live in the sea. Second, they have a brown and white shell that appears to date from the 1970s. Groovy. Finally, they have the capability of killing you. Many divers have attempted to approach this cool-looking snail, and if they have survived at all, they have lived to regret it. When the cone snail is threatened, it has a sharp, needle-like shaped proboscis that turns very jabby. The proboscis is sharp and powerful enough to pierce diving gloves, and it can inject enough venom to kill 10 people. You don't notice you've been stung until it's too late because this vicious small snail injects you with a potent painkiller. Furthermore, we are still without effective anti-venom. Number 16. Great White Shark the great white shark is a massive mackerel shark that may be found in the surface waters of all of the world seas. It is famous for its size, with the biggest females reaching a size of 6.1 meters. Great white sharks, according to a 2014 study, may live up to 70 years or more, making them one of the world's longest living cartilaginous fish. On rare circumstances, the killer whale is the sole known natural predator of the great white shark. Fish and seagulls are among the other marine species that this shark has been known to consume. In Peter Benchley's book Jaws and Steven Spielberg's film adaptation, the great white shark is depicted as a vicious man-eater. Humans are not a favorite meal of the great white shark, though. That's fantastic news. Human flesh seems to be disfavored by this shark. Due to their need to travel long distances for seasonal migration, migration, and their extremely demanding diet. It is logistically impossible to keep great white sharks in captivity. As a result, while attempts have been made in the past, there are no known aquariums in the world believed to house a live specimen. Number 15. Saltwater Crocodile the saltwater crocodile, sometimes known as the salty, is a dangerous predator native to Australia. The death roll is their hallmark maneuver. When a salty is fighting a large prey species, such as a water buffalo, the croc takes the victim by the neck and throws him about in the water, expecting that drowning will finish what the 5,000 pounds per square inch jaw pressure began. As the name indicates, a salty is a nasty predator that is equally at home in a freshwater river as it is in a saline coastal sea. They can swim for up to 600 miles at a time, eating sharks and other top predators along the way. Furthermore, a salty will attack anybody who enters its territory, and crocodile attacks are a hundred times deadlier than shark attacks, with half of them resulting in death, and salty attacks on people are on the rise as habitat degradation continues. What are your options for avoiding it? Run! Crocodiles are slower than humans. That is, as long as you're on land. If you're in the water, simply try to avoid the fang-filled end. Number 14. 
box jellyfish. So if you thought the creature that looks like a jellyfish but isn't at the beginning of our video was awful, wait till you hear about the thing that looks like a jellyfish but really is a jellyfish. It's the box jellyfish, which at least suggests it's not so hydrodynamic. They are, however, exceptional swimmers. Unlike other jellyfish, it's also just brimming with sheer wickedness. Up to 45 people die each year in the Philippines from box jellyfish jellyfish stings, according to the National Science Foundation of the United States, but the figure might be far higher. Yes, like that. And don't let your skin get in contact with the tentacles. Nidocysts, which are found on their tentacles and send a dart loaded with venom into the victim, have been dubbed the most explosive envenomation process currently known to humans by an Australian medical publication. They're also very translucent and just around 7 inches long, so they're virtually undetectable. Box jellyfish populations are exploding as a result of climate change, so just buy a Prius, okay? Otherwise, these things will be coming out of your shower head. Number 13. Sea Snake where you under the impression that land snakes were the most dangerous. Do you even know who these slithery sea guys are? Because I'm going to tell it like it is. Sea snakes are dangerous. To begin with, sea snakes are venomous in the majority of cases, and some of them are among the most venomous species on the planet. A few drops can kill 10 people in what seems like an excruciatingly long death, so that. Fortunately, sea snakes are mostly laid back, and even when they bite, it's typically only a warning to leave them alone so they don't inject venom. Why would they squander it on you, do you think? They've got better things to do with. They're shy, so fishermen normally pick them up with their bare hands and toss them back into the water if they happen to capture them by accident. Although, for some reason, they occasionally form large groups of a million sea snakes and float around together for a while. If you live near the Atlantic, you're safe. Sea snakes don't exist there, they despise the cold. However, if you're surfing in tropical seas… Number 12. Stingray we were all saddened when we learned in 2006 that Steve Irwin, an internationally renowned television personality, had died early at the age of 44. For a man who'd spent his whole life hanging out with some of the world's most deadly species, the news that he'd been killed by a stingray was even more shocking. The majority of the time, stingrays are thought to be rather harmless. Since 1945, just two people have died from stingray stings in Australian waters, one of which was Irwin. They were unlucky both times as the stinging barb landed in their torso, delivering the poison straight to their hearts. It only goes to show that the fish we like swimming with may be harmful in certain circumstances. The venom does have an anesthetic effect, and it was used as an anesthetic by ancient Greek physicians for patients having dental surgery. That's fantastic. Just don't try to do any home dentistry with a live stingray. It'll almost certainly go wrong. Number 11. Sea Urchin the flower-like beauty of this sea urchin makes it stand out. This is where the flower urchin gets its name. However, don't be fooled by its looks. If you have the impulse to kneel down and sniff it, you might get yourself into a lot of trouble. Because those blooms are actually tentacles with mouths capable of injecting poison, lethal to humans. That's why this infuriated urchin was named the world's deadliest sea urchin by the Guinness Book of Records. 
It's a pinnacle of fatal beauty. Sea urchins tend to assemble in bunches, waddling around on tiny tubed feet. They are usually found in the Indo-West Pacific at depths of up to 300 feet. Despite this, some daring souls in Southeast Asia and the Pacific Islands collect and eat these sea urchins. They remove the intestines and fill it with rice and coconut milk before cooking it. It seems to be delicious, but I'll take their word for it. Number 10. Horrifying deep sea Pacific football fish washes up on California Beach. A fearsome predator from the deepest depths of the ocean has been discovered dead on the bright beaches of California. In a rare and beautiful find that local park authorities are praising on social media, an anglerfish is a deep-sea predator that employs a bioluminescent lure that hangs in front of its mouth to capture victims in the near-total darkness of the deep ocean. The anglerfish may be familiar to Disney fans as the predator that almost devoured Dory in Pixar's Finding Nemo. The suborder Ceratidae, or deep sea anglerfish, is known for its great sexual dimorphism and sexual symbiosis of the small male with the much larger female. Males in these species might be hundreds of times smaller than females. The Lophidae family of fish is commercially important in Western Europe, Eastern North America, after Africa and East Asia. The tail flesh of fish of the genus Lophius, also known as monkfish or goosefish in North America, is commonly used in cuisine in Europe and North America, and is sometimes likened to lobster tail in flavor and texture. Monkfish liver, also known as ankimo, is a delicacy in Asia. Particularly in Korea and Japan, anglerfish is particularly popular in South Korea, where it is used as a primary component in dishes like agujim. Number 9. Pufferfish the pufferfish is unquestionably one of the most bizarre creatures on the world, and not only in the sea, every Minecraft player is aware of the remarkable defensive abilities of these clumsy-looking, slow-swimming fish. When they are threatened, they swiftly ingest water or air, forcing their loose skin to inflate into a ball, and the many spikes that typically lay flat on the epidermis to rise erect, making for a far less tempting feast. There are 120 distinct species of pufferfish, all of which come in a variety of shapes and sizes, and many of them have vivid colors. As most people are aware, bright colors in the animal world sometimes act as a warning. And pufferfish are no exception. If a brave or hungry predator eats all of the spikes, he or she will be in for a nasty surprise, because this underwater hedgehog is also quite dangerous. In actual Duality, each pufferfish bears a deadly dose of tetrodotoxin, a poison 1,200 times more poisonous than cyanide, and capable of killing up to 30 people in the absence of an antidote. As a result, it may come as a surprise to hear that this extremely hazardous fish is a popular Japanese dish, with just the safe portions of the fish left. A bad cut, on the other hand, means the diner will die quickly, and Fugu fans sometimes don't leave the restaurant alive. A one-of-a-kind fish yields a one-of-a-kind… and difficult… meal. Number 8. Black Mamba You've almost certainly heard of the Black Mamba. This is Africa's longest venomous snake and also the world's fastest land snake. Because they reside on the ground and in trees, there's almost no place to hide from these very toxic beasts. 
when it wants to threaten it hisses and opens its black mouth, then strikes from a far distance, frequently many times injecting the victim with multiple doses of strong neurotoxic. It normally attacks only if it feels threatened, but are you going to stay and try to find out how it's doing? Because these snakes have a reputation for being extremely violent. They are the most feared snake in Africa, where over 20,000 people die each year as a result of bites. Humans bitten by this snake can have severe symptoms within 45 minutes, including collapse and loss of consciousness. Their fearsomeness has earned them a place in African legend, and almost everyone who lives near these snakes understands that they must be revered and avoided at all costs. Number 7. Fire Ants Apart from the knowledge that they are Black Widow food, yeah, that's pretty badass. What else is there to know about fire ants? Solenopsis ants are stinging ants, as evidenced by their popular names, such as ginger ants and tropical fire ants. Fire ant stings induce urticaria, which is followed by a local burning sensation. Within hours, the sting location creates a lump which can cause more pain and suffering, especially if many stings occur at the same time. Within 24 to 36 hours, the lump may turn into a white pustule that can become infectious if scratched, but if left alone it will flatten naturally in a few days. When pustules are active, they are noticeable and uncomfortable, and if infected, they can cause scarring. Topical and oral medication are used to treat fire ant stings as first aid. There are also a variety of home cures with varied degrees of effectiveness, such as using a half-bleach, half-water solution, or aloe vera gel, the latter of which is commonly found in over-the-counter lotions that also contains medically tested and approved therapies. If not treated, severe allergic responses to fire ant stings, which include severe chest discomfort, nausea, excessive sweating, shortness of breath, significant swelling, and impaired speech can result in death. Number 6. Seagull Seagulls, sometimes known as gulls, are a regular sighting in the UK, particularly around the coast. In the UK, there are six distinct species, some of which have wingspans of up to 140 centimeters, when compared to the average height of a man in the United Kingdom, which is 175.3 centimeters. This appears absurd. These birds are much more hazardous because of their sheer size. Furthermore, some species may weigh a few kilos and fly at speeds of up to 35 miles per hour. So if a gull collides with you while flying, you'll get a bit more than a bruise. They are extremely difficult to identify in advance of an assault because of their speed. In mid-flight, seagulls fly at a speed of around 15 meters per second, and a majority of them dive for their meal. When they dive, their sleek bodies allow them to travel even quicker. This is a common issue for frequent beachgoers who prefer the traditional fish and chips, as seagulls are skilled burglars who know where to go for easy food. Few birds get close close to humans or interact with them, but seagulls have gradually learned that humans are a source of simple food. This is due to the fact that many people love feeding birds and watching them peck about the ground, allowing them to get up and personal with nature. Seagulls have lost their fear of humans as a result of this, and this is what makes them the most hazardous. Number 5. Giant Squid the giant squid may grow to enormous proportions, serving as an example of deep-sea gigantism. Males' maximum size is estimated to be approximately 12 to 13 meters, although the existence of many species of giant squid has been questioned. New genomic study reveals that only one species exists. A Japanese team captured the first photographs of the animal in its native environment in 2004. The 
elusive nature of the giant squid, as well as its strange look, which is generally seen as menacing, have cemented its place in popular culture. From early Kraken legends to books like Moby Dick and 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, to novels like Ian Fleming's Dr. No, Peter Benchley's Beast, adapted as a film called The Beast, and Michael Crichton's Sphere, also adapted as a film, and modern animated television programs, giant squid representations have been known. The image of a giant squid fighting a sperm whale is very popular, despite the fact that the squid is the whale's prey and not an equal opponent. According to recent research, these squid eat deep sea fish and other squid species. They use the two tentacles to seize prey, holding it with serrated sucker rings on the ends. Before it reaches the esophagus, they deliver it to the strong beak, which shreds it with the radula. That's a tongue with tiny file-like teeth. Because only one giant squid has been caught in fishing nets, they are thought to be solitary hunters. Despite the fact that the majority of giant squid collected by trawl in New Zealand seas have been linked to the local hokey fishery, the squid's diet does not include hokey. This indicates that giant squid and hokey feed on the same prey. Number 4. Cassowaries because birds are now recognized as a direct descendant of dinosaurs, experts believe that most dinosaurs were feathered rather than scaly like today's reptiles. This notion appears to be supported by the Australian cassowary, which is undoubtedly the most dinosaur-like species now living on the planet. The world's most deadliest bird, as it's known, is scared of humans and domestic dogs, but if necessary, will strike with force. With a strong pecking beak and highly sharp and powerful claws, the hits may be exceedingly severe. There have been a few deaths reported. Although they are rare, cassowaries will likewise assault and shatter automobiles and their own reflections in glass panes, implying that they too have a pea-sized brain from the dinosaurs. The introduction of 24 million invasive domestic pigs, which have already resulted in the loss of 100 species of natural flora and fauna in Australia has ruined the habitat of these scaled-down velociraptors, with just 2,000 individuals remaining in the Australian rainforest. So maybe now is the time to step in and save the renowned enraged bird from oblivion. Number 3. Snake Cobra while the king cobra's venom isn't as potent as the taipan's, the taipan's reputation as a dangerous reptile is based largely on its size and strength. The king cobra, the world's longest venomous snake, can deliver a massive dosage of neurotoxin in a single bite, up to one-fifth of a fluid ounce. This is enough to kill 20 mature men, so it's definitely something to be concerned about. It is known for its characteristic hood, which it raises to frighten others. It is also exceedingly terrifying, capable of killing even an elephant. They can stand up one-third of their body length because to their enormous size, allowing them to stare a person in the eye. These 18-foot monsters prefer to avoid human interaction as much as possible preferring instead to eat lizards, eggs, small animals, and other snakes, both poisonous and non-venomous. They're also the world's only snake species that builds a nest for its eggs, caring for them like a bird would, and this is the time you don't want to run across one, since a cobra defending its eggs will defend them with extraordinary violence. Number 2. Sea Lion External ear flaps, lengthy foreflippers, the ability to move on all fours, short, dense hair, and a large chest and belly distinguish sea lions from other pinnipeds. They live for around 20 to 30 years on average. Human exploitation has had a significant influence on South American sea lions. Due to hunting and exploitation of the species' habitat, hunter-gatherers throughout the Beagle Channel and northern 
Patagonia severely decreased the population of sea lions from the late Holocene to the middle of the 20th century. Despite the fact that sealing has been banned in many nations, including Uruguay, the number of sea lions continues to dwindle due to the devastating effects people have on their habitats. Sea lions can become violent and hostile as a result of human presence and recreational activities. When people approach a sea lion within 15 meters, the sea lion's attentiveness increases as a result of the disruption. These perturbations may elect psychological stress reactions in sea lions, causing them to withdraw, occasionally abandoning their territories, and reducing the amount of time they spend hauling out. Human attacks by sea lions are uncommon, however, coming within 2.5 meters of one can be dangerous. A 13-year-old girl surfing behind a speedboat was brutally attacked by a sea lion that leapt from the ocean in an extremely uncommon incident in Western Australia. In 2007, when the girl was rescued, the sea lion looked to be planning a second attack. Number 1. Sperm Whale The sperm whale, also known as the cachalot, is the biggest toothed predator and the largest of the toothed whales, along with the pygmy sperm whale and dwarf sperm whale of the genus Kogia. It is the sole living member of the genus Physeter and one of three extant species in the sperm whale family. The sperm whale is a pelagic animal that lives all over the world and migrates periodically for eating and reproducing. Outside of the mating season, Season, females and young males reside in groups, whereas older males live alone. To defend and nurture their young, the females work together. Females have calves every 4 to 20 years and take care of them for a decade. Although calves and debilitated adults are occasionally killed by killer whale pods, mature sperm whales have few natural predators. The whale's name is derived from spermacity, which was sought after for years use in oil lamps, lubricants, and candles by the whaling industry. Ambergris, a solid waxy waste product found in its digestive tract, is still highly prized as a perfume fixative, among other things. As flotsam, beachcombers hunt for ambergris. In the 19th century, sperm whaling was a big industry, as represented in the classic Moby Dick. The International Whaling Commission has imposed a ban on whaling, and the International Union for Conservation of Nature has classified the species as vulnerable. With an average weight of 7.8 kilos, the sperm whale brain is the biggest known of any living or extinct mammal. Although having a bigger brain is associated with greater intellect, it is not the sole reason. Humans have smaller brains than elephants and dolphins. The sperm whale's encephalization quotient is lower than that of many other whale and dolphin species, as well as non-human arthropoid apes and humans. They eat a variety of animals including huge squid, colossal squid, octopuses, and fish like demersal rays, although their main diet consists of medium-sized squid. Sperm whales use echolocation to hunt. The clicks they make are among the most forceful in the animal realm. It's been suggested that it uses its clicks to shock victims. Experiments aiming to recreate this impact have failed to replicate the alleged damage, throwing doubt on the theory. The global population of sperm whales is unclear, however, it is estimated estimated to be in the hundreds of thousands. The conservation prognosis for this whale is better than for many others. Commercial whaling has ended, and the species is now protected virtually everywhere. Yet records show that Japan has taken 51 sperm whales in the 11 years since 2000. What's the most dangerous thing you've ever seen at a beach? Will you ever go to the beach again after seeing this video? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!